Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be talking about the Baltic Amber, as some of the information about it, it is not a common knowledge. We will be talking about topics like, where does it come from, and how it becomes actual Amber, because it's not just a rock, in what colors does it come, and most interestingly, what inclusions can we find in it. So let's start from the beginning, we're getting back in time for almost 50 million years. Let's start with the habitat that produced the Baltic Amber. It was territory of present in the central and northern Europe, which was referred as Fenoscandia, and all this territory was surrounded by conifer forests. Even though a lot of amber can be found on the beaches of the Baltic Sea, the formation of the Baltic Sea began only 13,000 years ago, during the last ice age when the glaciers were retreating but the amber forest grew more than 55 million years ago. Topic of which tree specifically produced Baltic amber is still not entirely clear. Most likely it wasn't just one species of the tree, and more like a mixture of several species that produced tree raisin. Most common in that era was family of the trees Sheadopitis, the Agatis family which can still be found in Australia, and Cedrus family. Basically it was forest dominated by needle leaf trees, collective name of all these trees families is Pinus sutinifera. In this era occurred drastic change in climate, in which temperatures rise significantly, resulting in increase of all sorts of insects and storms, which were a danger for the trees. And because of that, the trees started producing unnaturally big amounts of raisin as protective measure against these threats. One of the misconceptions that amber is fossilized tree sap where in reality it is fossilized tree raisin. You see, there is a difference. Tree sap is blood of the tree. It, it is filled with nutrients and minerals. It carries the energy to the branches and to the rest of the body, where raisin is semi-solid sticky substance that acts as a defense mechanism for the tree's immune system. When the tree is damaged or is attacked by insects or fungi, it releases raisin that plugs up the injury and prevents further damage. This defense mechanism is still used by different variations of the trees today. It still some sterilizes the wound of the tree. Biggest chunks of amber that can weigh up to 3 kilograms were forming in old tree trunks, where most of them just under the tree bark. Raisin attracts insects naturally, and because of its sticky substance, some of the insects got trapped in it. Bigger insects are more rare, because they might be strong enough to escape the imprisonment but because the trees were releasing big amounts of sap, it was dripping out of the tree, sometimes capturing other more rare creatures in it. If you are wondering how lots of amber got into the Baltic Sea, the surface where the Baltic Sea currently is located, it is the place where these conifer forests were growing, plus lots of amber was transported there by the underground rivers that carried amber into the sea. Locations where you can still find Baltic amber on the beach that have access to the Baltic Sea are Lithuania, Poland, Latvia, Estonia, coast of Sweden and Kaliningrad. In other locations which does not have access to the sea but have amber are Ukraine, Russia and Belarus. In these locations, amber is being dug out from clay mines using simple tools like spades or more advanced machinery. How amber is formed? For tree raisin to fossilize, there are few conditions that have to be met. First of all, raisin needs to lay in the place where it is protected from the sun, rain and microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. Meaning, safest place for it to rest is buried deep into the soil. In the Baltic region, during the Ice Age, the glaciers knocked down entire forest and buried them, allowing them to fossilize more easily. Wet clay and sand sediments preserve raisin perfectly, because that environment does not contain much oxygen and these sediments eventually transform into rocks. Under intense pressure and high temperatures, in these conditions, fierce amber transforms into solid state. This process is called molecular polymerization, and this process first transforms raisin into copal. Copal is basically young amber, Fossilized raisin is considered amber after undergoing polymerization for around 2 million years, and then it has this glassy, gem-like structure and is considered as amber. 
It is unique gem because it's one of the few gems that have formed from organic material. Others in this category are pearls, jets, ivory and corals. It's worth mentioning that the hardness of amber is between 2 and 2.5 in most scale. So it's quite soft material comparable to silver or gold, which is uh, quite easily shaped. Baltic Emperor comes in more than 250 different shades, which most common are yellow. This is natural unmodified color of tree raisin. Shades of yellow differ from conditions and temperature in which amber was undergoing fossilization process. Unmodified meaning it didn't mix up with other minerals that could, could alter the color. Variations and different raisin mixing could alter the color to white. Overall range of color of Baltic amber starts from white yellow, brown to red, greenish color and absolutely black. Amber can be absolutely transparent as well as absolutely opaque. While some pieces are in one shade, sometimes one piece contains a bunch of different colors, which makes each piece unique and literally work of art by mother nature. Even more elements give each piece more uniqueness. Amber may contain inclusions of plants, insects are very rarely other creatures, as well as some subtle inclu inclusions like intact air bubbles with actual air still inside which can be seen by naked eye. There is even examples where calcite crystalline form inside of it. In other rare scenarios, amber may undergo opalization process and obtain a rainbow range of colors. Transparent amber comes with yellowish shade, most often in small pieces that weigh less than one gram. Such pieces are most common and are considered not valuable. But big clear transparent pieces without any cracks or layering are very rare and valuable. Amber becomes transparent within when it is under high pressure and is in thin layers. That's exactly why big pieces are rare. Color of transparent amber, amber may differ from yellow to red color. It depends on the degree of oxidation. White amber is quite rare less than 2% of all existing amber. It's being co called royal. It comes usually with mixture of other colors. White amber has most interesting te textures and patterns compared to other amber pieces. A red color are extremely rare to occur naturally. Less than percent of all amber is naturally red. Most red amber that we see in shops is being altered artificially by heating transparent yellowish amber. Green amber is also rare, less than 2% of all the amber. Similar like the red one, most of green Baltic amber is, that is in the market is being artificially altered to get more pronounced greenish color by placing it in the vacuum gas chamber along with nitrogen and argon. Naturally, green amber gets its green color from spending time in a marshy environment amid decaying organic matter before it gets fossilized. Black amber is quite common, less than 20% of amber is black. Most common black amber consists of tree bark, inclusions or other ve vegetable matter. Let's talk about probably most interesting topic that is related to Baltic amber. It is said that the amber is a window to the past, combination of transparentness of amber itself and its chemical composition makes it perfect for preserving other organic matter inside of it and then observing it. All the inclusions that get dropped in amber does not decompose inside. Captured insect in amber looks exactly the same as it was alive just a second ago. The only exception is that the insect is from 40 to almost 50 million years old. Amber that contains inclusions attracts interest of both private collectors as well as scientists that can study the piece to see what environment was like 50 million years ago. It's being discovered all kinds of species of insects that are still around and these that are already extinct. A lot of new extinct species is still being discovered to this day. More than 3000 representatives of fossil fauna have been found in Baltic amber. 10 to 15 percent of which are presently existing species of insects that have not evolved much science. Most common inclusions are insects, 86.7 percent, and arachnids, 11.6 percent, 
while animals of other classes occur only in less than 2% and plants in less than 1%. Ants, while common, are very ancient creatures arising from fossil records from 168 million years ago. Of all arachnid species found in the amber, most common are prisoners. These are forest living spiders that used to live on plants or under the bark. Over 300 varieties of spiders, mostly tropical and subtropical, have been found in Baltic amber. Other arachnids found in amber are scorpions, false scorpions, opidiones, and ticks. To find pieces of vegetation in Baltic amber is less likely than insects. Some more common plants are small leaves, pine needles, flowers, moss, plenty of spores, mainly from mushrooms and pollen, sometimes twigs and new fruits. In addition to plants and arthropods, other animals or their fragments can be found in Baltic amber, even though they are very rare. Creatures like oligocenes, nematoids and other small worms, and around 9 varieties of land mollusks were found in Baltic amber. Other possible inclusions are water or air bubbles, or even hairs from different species of mammals, or feathers from bird-like dinosaurs. Fun fact, theory that dinosaurs had feathers was confirmed thanks to Burmese amber, where not only feathers were found, but actual partial bird-like dinosaur. Rarest inclusions that are found in Baltic amber are probably lizards. There is a lot of fake lizards in so-called Baltic amber, which is actually ambroid, and not an amber. Ambroid consists from tiny amber pieces melted back to liquid state and glued together, and in this case some current lizard or any other animal is buried in it. But this sample I found is authentic and is selling for 20,000 euros, euros, which is crazy, and now this is not a sponsored video. So, that about covers everything I wanted to share about the Baltic Amber. If you have any questions or corrections, feel free to comment in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!